ever wish you can see more than what meets the eye? That's essentially what the new Google Lens is promising to deliver for you in this fascinating story today. Hello, and welcome to Soul Spa University, where your souls can run free and your minds are free to expand, essentially adult Disneyland. We talk all things interesting here. So if you can give us a thumbs up so we can keep existing for you, as well as subscribe so your soul won't miss a beat and be the first to share with people this groundbreaking information in each of our podcasts. Also, be sure to check out all our playlists. Tom has a story for us today. Google apparently has come out with a contact lens or is going to come out with one that actually reveals a lot about a person. Go ahead, take it from here, Tom. How are you? Well, I don't think it's Google. It's a company called Mojo. Oh, good. And- it's called the Mojo Smart Contact Lens. Uh, so it, the whole basis of it is that they're hoping that it's going to be a fitness helper. Uh, that's the that's the the starting point. Right now they're they're like in their infancy. Uh, they're only testing one. Uh, the CEO of the company actually, Drew Ber- uh, Perkins is the one that's actually testing it and he tests it an hour a day because he co- he says at the moment it's it's a little it's a little distracting and it kind of bothers him a little bit if he does pass that which is not really the greatest thing for the CEO of the company to say <laughs> but um he's testing one at a time and right now uh the apps that they have is a teleprompter so basically you know you, you can read uh, text will appear in the air and you can read off of it. So that's good for like, you know, you can download a book. Hopefully this is what their thought process is. You can download a book or anything like that. And you can read while trying to stay on your feet and walk around. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, that won't have anybody, I don't know, fly off the treadmill or into a wall. Probably not. <laughs> uh, the second one, which is weird, is a holographic green image of Albert Einstein. They didn't elaborate. Uh, it, he's just there. So that's cool, I guess. I guess it's like a holographic Coolio or not Coolio, uh, uh, Tupac or whatever. It's just there. It's like, oh, check him out. Oh, look at that. He's right there. This is the same holographic. company? Yeah. To help with fitness? Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I guess that's just their practicing thing of just how to figure it out so that they can, you know how they have like um, the Peloton and all that, where they're like, come on, you can do it. Die, you big fat piece of garbage. Keep going. Okay, so wait, and you interact with the Einstein? I don't think you interact with it. I think it's just a thing there that will um, motivate you for your fitness. Einstein? yeah, no, no, no. I think, it, like I said, it's in an infancy. So Einstein is just something that they decided because they don't have a someone signed as the face of the company to do it. Okay. So there's that. And then there's the compass. They have a compass just basically that they're going to con- be connecting a GPS to. Right now they're trying to figure out which GPS uh, system to go towards. Uh, the logical thing is Google, of course. But right now, it's just a simple uh, compass. They'll show you north, south, east, and west. And um, there is also a, oh, accelerometer, accelerator, whatever. It tells you how fast you're going, how much you're uh, running and all that stuff. Uh, Does the mileage of how far you're going. And it also has a radio. Okay, so this is in the contact one. Yeah, this is all the contact. Well... Here's the other the other stuff added to it. So not only is there a contact lens, but you have to wear a, um, it's basically a processor, like a computer processor, a miniature one around your neck so that it like feeds information, but it gets better. You also have to wear a hat with an antenna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the so, beginning stages of things. So it's the beginning stages. But if, it, if that ends up being the, end result where people are wearing hats with like stupid antennas hanging out of it god that's going to be hilarious um so right now they're only they're only testing one lens at a time so that people won't get like this so it's like the ceo and it's only the ceo right now 
and a couple of little guys under him. Eventually, they're planning on having the rest of CEO, uh, rest of the board, and everybody else on the higher ups test it. They're testing one at a time, as I said, but they're they're configuring it so that when they test two at a time, you can get the full like 3D imaging. You can get all kind of stuff, and they're also working with other companies to add in apps and add in all these different things you can do instead of wow. the basic you know, running and mileage nonsense that you look at your watch for. That's amazing. They definitely do need to collaborate to get rid of that antenna and like thing they got to wear. I mean, can you imagine showing up to a date like that? Yes, I will. <laughs> Good. Good. I mean, that would make it interesting. Like I'm paying attention to you. Oh, forget it. And four score and seven years ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, so by the end yeah. of the year, since it's something that you have to put in your body, technically, you, you put it in your eye, um, they're hoping to get FDA approval of it. And, um, mm. you know, I guess uh, uh, there are probably, loop there probably will be loopholes where people could actually use their insurance to buy things like this. This is nuts. I mean, this is like, again, getting close to the neural link, again, having technology as part of the body. It's like, how close do we need it, guys? Now it's on your eyeball. Can't you just look at your phone? No, no. <laughs> if you ever, you don't watch anime, but there was an anime called Sword Art Online. Mm. And so the anime was basically, it was like the metaverse first. And, you know, they went into this thing and they got stuck in there and yada, yada, yada stuff. And things ensued. But, uh, then after that series ended, they made it like a, another small series of, or movie, I forgot which one it was, but it was augmented reality. So basically they, they're not going into anything like a, like a uh, metaverse, but it's, you walk in the world and things happen all around you. And since then, I feel like people will be like, wow, that's a great idea. And so all this augmented reality stuff started coming into play in real life. Oh, my God. And, and I think that's basically what they're trying to get at with that. Uh, and it, that would be cool, but it would just it'd be annoying, too. It's like people you would just have people walking around all day long going like. Or somebody stop in front of you like, oh, my God. Like, sir, what the hell are you doing? What? <laughs> oh my God, that is amazing. No, <laughs> that is amazing. You know, and that reminds me of our conversation the other day where we happen to say certain cultures. I mean, we were joking how specific cultures are like way ahead of us. Um, you know, when I was in fifth grade, I had a best friend named Tachiko, and, uh, you know, her and other friends would just come in with their lunch equipment or stationary was like from in Star Trek or something like but in like gorgeous like girl pastels I was in love she literally gave me an organic Oreo made of like literally like the darkest chocolate and actually real like healthy dairy like I had one little bite and we'll never forget it and this is like prior to me getting hit by car and like many other concussions, like, how do I not forget it? Because it was amazing because they're so far ahead. And this was over like 25 years ago. Okay. So anime is, is ahead. And like I said, uh, previews um, of life seems to happen in movies, uh, which we actually spoke about on, let me think, what podcast are we on? Yeah. The last yeah. podcast. Yeah. Um, so, um, and Einstein actually said, imagination is the uh, preview of life's upcoming events which is actually what i coach guys so if you guys want to have a coaching session the email is in the description box but aside from that that is just amazing i love when like you know media previews what's going on and uh you know my perspective on that like i said is in the podcast with the um the smart contact lens so check that out um is it that one or when no. the, oh, <laughs> the plane the flying, no, the flying hotel, guys. Yeah. That is where I said it. Thank you, Tommy. That's why you're an amazing co-host. You remember for me, I'm a little scrambled. This is an amazing story. That is just so, fan fascinating. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off. There's yeah. also another thing that they're trying to, and I, I, it's not this company. I, I read about it a long time ago. Uh, but if they if they add it in, I mean, it makes sense. They're attempting to create, and I hope they do it in all this technology because I can't wear contact lenses. Well, I can, but it's just it's it's just a pain because I have a scratched eyeball. But um. They're attempting to make this thing where you put this, when you put these contact lenses in, there's an app that basically is like going to an eye doctor and it will run down the thing and it'll get to your perfect eye vision that you need for glasses or, or con regular contact lenses and you can save it and use and instead of going to a, a, a doctor. Oh, that's cool. So Although I'm hoping you just need eye doctors for other things, like in case your eye hurts or something. But that's cool. Yeah, optometrist. Let me let me reiterate, optometrist, not yeah. an eye doctor. I think it would still be safer to go to a doctor though, because what if you know, like you said, you know, you have a scratch on your eye, so you can't really get those contact lenses. But somebody that didn't go to a doctor and know that would get the would spend the money on the lenses and not know that they can't wear. It. True. True. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, they could always wear one. They won't get the full thing of it. This guy's only wearing one. Um, then you can only see out of one eye. No, you can see out of both. Well, yeah, you're right. Damn it. Ah, that would suck. No, I could. I mean, I can wear them, but they're very uncomfortable for me. Regular contact lenses. And just that, that whole process where you're like, ah, 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 I, I hate it so much. Oh, yeah. Um, I did it for years. That's why I got LASIK. Yeah, I wish I can get, that's what I can't get. I can't get LASIK. It's impossible for me, unfortunately. Can you, it would be amazing if you stopped being a loser for like one second. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, my cranberry juice is helping me, helping my uh, sense of humor evolve right now. Yes, my cranberry <laughs> juice is helping me not to, uh, you know, I'm beat the crap in the <laughs> Our juice is helping us with much nutrition needed so that we don't have such senses of humor. Agreed. So that's, uh, that's the start of this. And you know what? I really hope it gets somewhere better. And for people that wear glasses like I do and hate wearing contact glasses, hopefully they can make like a little thing that I can just wear around my eyes, like Jordy from Star Trek. And I'm like, just, just all you see is like this big thing. And I'm like, hey, this is normal. And you're like, teenage mutant. Ninja Turtle. Tommy. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm <laughs> <laughs> And wearing green. Except you can't wear the, you can't, um, me too? You can't um, eat pizza because you're lactose intolerant. Yes, my cheeseless pizza is going to be like, mm -hmm. awesome, radical, whatever the hell freaking Michelangelo always said. I prefer oh light on cheese. Like and my um, yeah, my coordination's like so. I'd be a I'd be a terrible ninja turtle. <laughs> it would be great. I really wish. I really hope you can join one day. No, because it'd be like, oh no, Tommy died again. <laughs> it's like, like the, oh no, the fruit killed Tommy. <laughs> the Kenny of Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I would be the worst Ninja Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it fell over. Hey, we're doing great, right, Tom? Huh? <laughs> oh no, he's in his shell again, rolling. Oh, he hung himself with his own nunchucks accidentally. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> spitting in a circle, but your tongue comes out once in a while trying mm -hmm. to get pizza. Oh my god! So yeah, I don't know where that went from. I went to <laughs> just stop, but... and the tongue comes out <laughs> pizza. But uh, I'm looking forward to them completing this and hopefully collaborating with other companies and making it much, much better. Because right now it's just, it's, it's, it's yeah. rough. It's rough. Like the first telephone. Yeah. But 20 years from now when I'm like, the damn youth! And I have like these weird contact lenses in and everything. Maybe it'll make it easier on me. Well... I'm looking forward to you becoming a Ninja Turtle. Guys, stay tuned for that episode uh, as we pre-record Halloween episodes of 2022. Um, starring Tommy the Ninja Turtle. 
Tom Hay. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Do you have anything more to say about this Ninja Turtle? Uh, I'm just hoping that uh, my Ninja Turtle form doesn't end up like that Ninja Turtle we saw at FDR at one time. <laughs> we were like, what is that smell? <laughs> it was just a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> so for those some of you that don't know I spent a lot of time in nature and once I took Tommy with me but of course the one time I take Tommy with me he points out the most grim parts of reality that I would normally not see so we're at a part where we're surrounded by <laughs> lake and it's beautiful and I'm like oh and I'm basking in it and I'm like Tommy isn't this just amazing and eventually we're like <laughs> Tommy's like, yeah, especially that amazing turtle, of <laughs> that amazing turtle over there. And I look over, <laughs> it's completely stationary. And there's just like flies, like flying all around it and buzzing. And eventually I'm like, <laughs> I think it's time to go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that would be Tommy the Ninja Turtle. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, guys, so check out all our playlists. They really do range um, from anything from time travel to comedy, and uh, which is much better than this. Uh, and of course, we're very limited with our comedy of what we can do on here. But normally, we're much funnier in person. <laughs> anyway, so uh, if you guys can please like to stay friends with us, um, subscribe so that we can still stay in your life. And uh, sharing would be amazing. And you'd be the one sharing the most groundbreaking information, the first one to them, because you know they're getting floods of it anyway. So you might as well be the first. Would be absolutely amazing to us. And honestly, we appreciate you so, so, so much. And please check out the links in the description box if you would like a session with me or to be on the show or anything like that. Um, we would love to have you read the description box. Uh, and until next time, guys. Uh, Keep doing that Ninja Turtle thing. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>